to know friends let's understand the key regulations relevant to the fintech domain what are the key regulations when it comes to the financial technology companies who are the regulators what are the trends in the fintech regulation and how is the role of a compliance executive or officer or head in a fintech company fintech as we know is financial technology and it's a part of the banking financial services and insurance industry so financial regulations do apply to fintech depending on the area in which a particular fintech company operates likewise technology regulations when it comes to it standards the uh, cyber security related legislations data privacy all those apply to the fintech companies likewise most fintechs would be incorporated as a company and has the corporate laws as well as the relevant industry legislations are applicable to fintech companies and depending on the nature of a fintech company for example if it's a lending company or it's a insurance broker or it's a payment company the relevant legislations are applicable the key regulators in the fintech space are number 1 reserve bank of india which is a primary regulator of financial markets in india then the other two regulators sebi and irda when it comes to the particular domain in which fintechs operate as well as the funding of fintechs these regulators come into picture the third is obviously the government ministries like dpiit or department for promotion of industries which is relevant if the fintech is registered as a startup or the it security the ministry of electronics is relevant if the fintech has to take care of the data privacy and other issues the finance ministry continues to be one of the key regulators in the financial services industry uh, and when it comes to direct and indirect taxes uh, the ministry of corporate affairs for company laws and the regulation of you know other uh, independent bodies like the icai chartered accountants institute company secretaries institute the institute of valuers and so on and so forth so that is where the finance ministry has a role to play so let's understand the role of all these four types of regulators in detail RBI so RBI is the most you know prominent regulator of fintech in India something as basic as know your customer and anti money laundering guidelines are relevant to fintechs as well so they have to take care to see that they are identifying their customer collecting the necessary documentation and also making sure that there is no money laundering taking place to their companies if the company is in let's say lending space or you know in the credit space then lot of fintech specific regulations also have been promulgated by rbi for example they have to undertake a simplified loan procedure they have to create a concise key fact statement which explains to the borrower or the customer what exactly are the terms and conditions they need to have in place a mechanism to resolve the customer complaints they need to report their data of the customers to the credit information companies or what we normally call credit bureaus like sibil for example and there are if there are having any kind of agreements with uh, the partners or you know any other players for uh, loss sharing or for securitization of their debt then they need to have follow certain guidelines likewise the rbi also has specifications about technology and data guidelines that the fintechs need to follow if the fintechs are registered as a non banking finance company which in many cases they have to in that case the other norms like the prudential norms about income recognition classification of assets let's say for example how non performing assets are identified uh, about the capital adequacy that they need to have and about how the recovery processes have to be taken are applicable to fintechs if the fintech is in a payments domain for example there are security standards that need to be followed which are worldwide for example pci dss compliance standards when you are setting up any kind of a payment system data protection rules to protect the data of the customers who are using their applications upi guidelines issued by less the national payments corporation of india or npci any other relevant guidelines like for card processing the fees charged uh, and also the guidelines regarding the customer service all these become relevant to the fintechs and uh, these are under the broad umbrella of rbi regulations as i mentioned the two other key regulators are sebi and irda sebi basically regulates capital markets and irda regulates the insurance domain uh, 
SEBI has number of guidelines that come into play regarding fintech because let's say if the fintech wants to raise funds they are raising funds from let's say private equity or venture capital fund raised in India in that case indirectly they need to worry about the PE and VC guidelines because PE for example how they raise funds uh, how they disclose the funds to uh, make the disclosure of information to their investors how long the funds can run uh, how they need to liquidate uh, etc those become relevant from the fintech point of view because they are seeking investments from VCs and peace. Uh, if the fintech is in, in let's say a domain like they are in the trading domain or uh, relating to stock exchange in that case the guidelines of the exchanges also applicable to brokerages uh, and trading regulations also come into play when the fintech wants to go for let's say an ipo in that case they have to abide by the guidelines of the exchanges and of sebi for example regarding filing of the draft prospectuses and the entire process uh, if the fintech is in the domain of wealth advisory for example advising let's say personal uh, you know financial advice in that case they have to also take care of the specific guidelines like investment advisors guidelines which are issued by the sebi uh, when it comes to insurance, uh, insurance uh, regulator IRDA has uh, released specific guidelines like Insurance Web Aggregators Regulations 2017. There are guidelines around the po policy insurance, around you know how e-commerce uh, and uh, the uh, insurance companies can intersect, and about claims processing. All these become relevant for the fintech companies that are in that specific domain. The third regulators that come into play are government ministries like for example DPIIT under Ministry of Industries and under Ministry of Electronics you know, anything that is relating to IT security and other guidelines. For example most fintechs are likely to register to start with as a startup under DPIIT because they get certain exemptions like the, the angel tax exemption or the uh, three years tax exemption in first 10 years etc. So they need to follow the relevant guidelines that are applicable for registering uh, as a startup under DPIIT. For example they have to prove that their products and services are innovative they are going to create jobs uh, which are in that space uh, they are not going to invest in for example real estate so these are the guidelines which are relevant to registration as a startup and then subject to that they, they get certain income tax exemptions and angel tax exemption etc the mighty the government of india's ministry for electronics and information technology they have issued lot of guidelines about data security and privacy how the customer's data privacy has to be maintained on what conditions the customer data can be shared what data can be shared and you know those become relevant for fintechs the fourth set of uh, regulators are you know, basically under finance ministry. So for example, the fintechs obviously like any other company are required to pay taxes, direct taxes and the income tax side. They have to obviously pay the, the indirect taxes, mainly GST and you know, depending on the kind of service they uh, you know, render to the customers, they have to charge their GST and recover the GST from the uh, customers and pay it to the government. When it comes to following the corporate laws, because most likely the index will be registered as a company under the Companies Act, then all those relevant guidelines under the Companies Act become applicable to them. Uh, one more set of guidelines that become relevant is because you know fintechs will frequently seek investment not just investment within India but even from abroad so the valuation related guidelines for example of the uh, uh, IBBI or maybe you know the ICI, ICSI guidelines relevant to that will become applicable to them and apart from that being companies you know all the audit related compliances uh, etc become relevant to uh, fintechs. So these are the broad guidelines that are specifically relevant to fintech and there are other regulations that are applicable to any other industry like regarding how you enter into contracts under the Indian Contracts Act if you are uh, registering any kind of a real estate property for example, the Transfer of Properties Act, the Normal Guidelines about Sale of Goods Act, the Intellectual Property Protection Related Laws, the Consumer Protection Laws, all those are in any case relevant for fintech like they are for any other industry. So understanding this will help you understand the regulation in the fintech space, what are the kind of risks that they take, uh, what are the career opportunities available in compliance domain in fintech and what kind of skills we need to acquire. And compliance uh, sort of you know the roles in fintech could be also a good area to look for. Hope you found this video interesting and useful. If yes, please do share with your friends, like this video as well as subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Take care. Cheers.